10 European countries that South Africans can visit with only one visa. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Vuga Experience. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. But if it's your first time, thank you so much for coming through and please consider subscribing and support this movement. Stick around to the end of this video because I'll be telling you more about this visa and where you can get it and how much it costs. But in no particular order, let's get straight into it. We have got Iceland. Iceland is cold, but whatever it lacks for in sunshine, it makes up for in beauty because Iceland is absolutely breathtaking. If you want to see the Northern Lights, check. If you want to go and see this beautiful beach with ice that looks like diamonds, it's called Diamond Beach, check. Blue Lagoon, check. If you want to see beautiful and cascading waterfalls, Iceland also has that. It's got hot springs where you can go and chill with your friends and just get a nice bath, but be careful because they actually explode, so stay safe. Next up, we have got Italy. From the Coliseum to the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the beautiful uh, lakes and rivers that weave around the houses, Italy is just incredible. And also, can I just say, if you want to be romantic, Italy and Paris are the places to go. And I can't talk about Italy without bringing out their food because, hey, it's, it's amazing. Italy also has got one of the most rugged and beautiful coastlines as well, so you get the best of both worlds. Next is Amsterdam. Now Amsterdam I think is the biking capital of the world, so if you're into cycling and you want to cycle around a beautiful city, you can go to Amsterdam, it will accommodate you. It also has got what is called the red light district where you can go and see this beautiful lady standing out the window if you want to go inside and partake, it's all up to you, it's all legal over there. They also have coffee shops where you can go and actually buy weed and also weed products but you can only use them uh, in the shops or at the hotel or in your house. Next up is Austria. Now Austria is one of those places where you have to strap up your boots and actually go hiking. It's for the active traveler because these waterfalls you can only see if you actually hike up to these places. And let me tell you, from what I have seen, every hike is probably worth it because it has got some of the most beautiful and still lakes, some of the most cascading mountains and heights. Now if you do stick around to the end of this video, I'll actually write down everything, the currencies of these countries, uh, how you can get there. Next up on the list we have got France. Now this is the world capital of romance. Now if you want to go to France, hey man, take your girl, take a girl's trip, take a boy's trip up to France. It's going to be amazing. You are going to enjoy it. Next up is Sweden, also for the active traveler, not the person that wants to chill by the pool. Oh, by the way, if you are that person that wants to chill by the pool, I have another video called 10 islands you have to visit in your lifetime and in that video I've also included um, islands that South Africans can visit without a visa. It's going to be linked below. I'm not going to talk much about Sweden, man. I'm just going to let the video talk for itself because this place is beautiful. It's waterfall after waterfall after waterfall and then snow. Next up on the list is Portugal. Now, if you want to go to a country and just chill at the hotel, chill by the pool and have fun with your friends, Portugal is one of those places. Not only does it have one of the most beautiful coastal lines you will ever find. I say that a lot, don't I? Yeah, I do. But anyway, it does and I can't hide it. Thank you. 
and another country for the active traveler will be Norway. Now Norway is, I was actually quite shocked when I was looking up footage for Norway because it's beautiful. Not only do you get to see the beautiful northern lights as you would in, in Iceland, but you also get a treat with these beautiful, still and surreal looking lakes. Now, I would suggest when you go to countries like Norway, you actually hire a car and you drive everywhere. Look at this football field. It's in the middle of an island. Now, Greece also featured in my top 10 islands you need to see in your lifetime. Hey, Greece is stunning and it's also a country that you can visit as a South African with only this one visa. Now, most of these European countries actually have got a railway uh, system that links them together. And last but most certainly not least is Spain. Now, Spain is kind of like the party capital of the UK. I don't know if I'm right saying that, but there's so many islands like Ibiza, um, Mallorca that you can actually go with your girls or your boys or you can go in couples and actually just go and chill and have fun because it's got most beautiful hotels as well. It's got really nice guest houses and if you're a baller, you can just go there with your boys, hire a yacht and just chill in your yacht. But if you're a big baller, you can even hire a bigger yacht. And if you're a bigger, bigger baller, I'm talking about black coffee money, you can hire multiple yards and just go and chill there with the boys hey guys thank you so much for making it to the end of this video now the visa that I'm talking about is called a Schengen visa South Africans can get this visa at the cost of 1,300 rands only it takes between two days to three weeks to get it now it depends on which embassy you go to but if you go to any European embassy in South Africa they should be able to give you direction now do you get interviewed for this video the answer is no the only thing you need to do is you need to provide them with uh, documentation and proof that you have no intentions of staying in Europe but that means you have to provide them with for instance uh, your return flights you have to provide them with if you have a, a house and a mortgage and you're paying a bond or something you have to provide them with that bank statements you have to provide them as well with your hotel booking for wherever you are going now i understand that it's a bit difficult to book hotels for three countries at the same time but you need to show them that you have every intention not to stay in europe and actually go back to south africa i'll put a lot of information in the description link below so please take time and read that guys thank you so much for supporting this movement listen the goal is to motivate South Africans to not only travel our country first, but also travel the continent of Africa and eventually travel the world. I'm working on plans on uh, doing more content for inside South Africa and the continent of Africa, but it's a bit difficult because we can't travel at the moment and I'm not in the country at the moment. Give me any suggestions in the comment box below. What would you like to see next? What countries would you like me to talk about next or research about? Where would you like to travel? Also, there are more videos that are linked down below. I try to focus on countries that South Africans can get to very easily either with no visa but you'll get an entry permit upon arrival or with a visa that you can get relatively easy now there are countries that are very difficult to get a visa for but some countries are very easy to get a visa for and please engage in the comment section below if you want to ask me any questions or clarity on anything please uh, just comment down below and if you find any value in this video please give it a like and share this video so until next time wake up and travel